Alright, this video is going to be very, very interesting because this might just change your life, okay? At least when you divide, you know, between polynomials, okay? It's going to make things easier because I'm going to show you a method that's going to make things much easier, okay, when you divide between polynomials, okay? Now, first, let us, you know, take a polynomial, okay? Let us take 3x plus 4x plus 16 and divide that using traditional long division method by, let's say, you know, x plus 2, all right, x plus 2. What you will do in, you know, like traditional method, you'll first have to, you know, divide the first term with the first term of the divisor, and the result will come up here, right? It will 3x, and then you'll have to multiply this with the divisor, right? And then the result will come down here, 3x square plus 6x and then you'll have to subtract this value and it will become minus 2x and then you'll divide this with this again and it goes on forever but this method is very very painful and very very tedious you don't have to go through so much trouble just to find some arbitrary number but i'll show you a method and it's called synthetic Okay, synthetic polynomial division. Okay, polynomial division. And it's going to make things so much easier, okay? Because you can, you can say bye-bye to those x's, okay? You don't need them. You just need these numbers, okay? Let me make this much clearer, okay? So that we have, you know, the logs for the things. Okay, so how do you do that? Okay, let us take the previous... A polynomial as example 3x square plus 4x plus 16 and the divisor is x plus 2 okay now pay attention okay keep your ears clear okay the first step place these coefficients here okay uh, 3 4 16 give them a uh, you know like some space in between okay and do something like this you know a line up top okay now listen very carefully the new divisor our new divisor that we will place here needs to be in the form of r where our old divisor is in the form of x you know let me mind x minus r okay again our new divisor needs to be in the form of r where our old divisor needs to be in the form of x minus r. Okay, so for our context, this example, it the new divisor will be minus 2 because this old divisor is x minus minus 2, right? And this is r. You're getting my point? Okay, this is r. We need to be a minus here, okay? And if it was, you know, say x minus 2 okay x minus 2 our new divisor would have been just 2 because this is already in the form of x minus r okay now back to our question okay now step 2 again pay attention bring this 3 the first coefficient down okay let me give it a line okay let me draw a line oh. okay now you bring this first term here and you multiply the divisor with that number okay and this becomes you know three times minus two and you place that result up here okay this is minus six okay this is minus six you place that result here and what you do now is add okay not subtract but add both these numbers and this will become your uh, this is minus two right yes minus two okay now you repeat that process okay of multiplying the new divisor with the number and it will become minus two times minus two and the result is four so you place four up here okay uh, let me write that in pink okay four and then you add both of these okay you add both of these and it becomes 20. now you have another set of you no know, numbers but 
you want something like this, like 3x plus 2 plus something like that. You want a remainder. So how do you find that? Okay, you just add, you just make this 3x and you just make this minus 2. And this is just our remainder, which is x by x plus 2. No, this is the remainder. And this is our quotient that we needed to find using, you know, our long division method, which is very, very tedious. And this is very, very easy. This is very, very easy. I'm damn sure you will find this quotient and this remainder when you do this by, you know, long division method. And I encourage you to try that out. I encourage you to try more of these questions out to, you know, get the gist. Okay. So let me just, you know, you know, take you through this again. You first take these numbers. Okay. Let me get a different color. Okay. Oh, uh, let's do orange. Okay. You take these numbers, you put them here. Okay. You put them here and you take your new divisor, which needs to be in the form of R, where our old divisor in the form of X minus R. So this becomes minus two. Okay. Now you bring down the first number three and you multiply with the new divisor. The result goes up here, right? And you, then you add those numbers, add the new numbers, and it becomes, you know, here, minus two. And then you repeat the process, multiply that, and it will come up here. You add those, this comes down here, and you, you know, make this three, a three X, and this minus two becomes minus two, you know, and this will be the remainder, okay? You know, this is very easy. I wish I knew this <laughs> long ago and it makes things much easier. So if you like this video, you know, make sure to give it a thumbs up and ask me any question that you have. Also, if things were not very clear, I'll explain you. Okay, I'll make things very clear in the comments, you know. So make sure that you ask your doubts and, you know, stay frosty. Okay, take care.